Yep, in Corona Tower, there's a fountain of youth. Seriously. A fountain of youth, you say? Anything I can do with that? Can I search the little pond? Yeah, there's nothing in the pond, unfortunately. It looks like there should be, though. Maybe that's just me. All right, I'm gonna sell some stuff, clear up some space, and I will meet you when we are ready to head out again. Hooray. Now that we have the ice decker, we are ready to leave. I'm all healed, I have a little bit of inventory space. So we need to go back outside of Twin Town through the spiral, which might just be here to kill some time might just be the whole purpose of it. But now that we can go through the ice, hopefully things will start opening up for us on this world where there are some difficult enemies. Definitely some of the hardest, let's just talk to them this time. Hardest uh, enemies in the field that we have seen to this point. All right, uh, the Dezorian head didn't understand, but the Dezorian did? Oh no, they're shooting me with a gun. Okay, they're not banging me with a gavel. It, it kind of looks like that a bit but there is, there is definitely a bang coming out of that. When they miss it, it's just a quick flash though. When it hits it, it sticks a little bit longer. And down go the Dezorian heads. Really three damage loots. All right, 40 experience and a treasure chest with 272 Mercedes. So we can talk to the normal Dezolians, but not the not the heads. A little weird how those rules work. Maybe it's just me overthinking things. This game, I just don't get it. Th those guys were doing eight damage to me. Or at least one of them did. That doesn't make all the sense in the world at all. 44 experience. It's just that huge variance. Lots of Mercedes inside, but we have what we need for the time being. So we're gonna head out in search of more loot. That is our next goal. It's going to take us a little time to get there though because we have to go through a couple tunnels. This one being one of them, to be honest with you. But it's worth showing again, simply because, well, that's pretty much the only way to get there. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. A lot of moving around back and forth between a couple different locations, but we are going somewhere new eventually. Eventually we are going somewhere new. Did Luch just do 30 damage? Yes, he did, because he did 23 there. That is much more than I expected from Lutz. Yeah, the Batman have never had a treasure chest that exploded on me, just for the record. So I am fully confident opening up their treasure chests, even when I really shouldn't be. All right, back outside. We have to go through this tunnel here. Taking on Dezorian heads as we go. Wasn't that Dezolis? I think they translated a little differently, right? Because we're on Dezolis. The planet name they gave was Dezolis. In the Master System version, it is Dezoris, so it'd be a Dezorian head. But in this version, they called it Dezolis, so shouldn't it be a Dezolian head? Once again, overthinking things. All right, we need to go back through the tunnel here. Uh, remember it was left, right, left before, so we're gonna do exactly the opposite. We're gonna go right, left, right this time. And it will work out just the same. It wouldn't always work that way, but in this case, it does. It's not always easy to reverse directions. 11 damage. We just upgraded her armor. That's why I'm upset about that. Like we just upgraded it to diamond armor. It cost me 15,000 Mercedes and also a searchlight. And it's just not showing a significant improvement for me because of the huge random randomness of the attacks. Maybe I'm just overthinking this, but that's how it feels right now. That's how it feels. All right, down go the manticores. Give me the treasure chest. 
with 174 Mercedes and a searchlight. So we already went right, so now it's time to go left. Head all the way to the end here, then head right, and we should finally make our escape. All right, so what we want to do now is uh, take on a couple de rouges. Not bad, not bad. They get, they did get an attack in this time. I don't think they did last time. 44 experience for the pair. And don't explode on me, thank you. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and get inside our new vehicle. Uh, let's get in the ice decker. At least use the ice decker. The group boarded the ice decker. Oh, this thing looks awesome, doesn't it? It does go faster than walking, which is why I wanted to do it now. All right, so what we need to do is bore through here and go north, taking on Mad Stalkers. And we do get the great music that we do, and we will continue going. Through this little passage here. Look at that progress that we've made. Taking on the living dead. Just two damage there. Just two. Which is kind of nice because there's lots of uh there's lots of zombies where we're about to go. 59 Mercedes there though. All right, we have made it where I wanted to go, and we can just go straight in with our ice decker. Uh, that uh, was the Altiplano Plateau, in case you guys were curious. All right, we have made it to the, uh, I know it is the Gwauron Morgue. This is a morgue, so lots of undead around here. Why have you come here? Stay out of trouble, hear me? No, no. Uh, this place is a little weird. It's the first time that we're gonna use a mechanic that we've had access to for a while. Uh, first, we're going to go through the door. Don't go through uh, the door on the right. I'll just say that now. Uh, go straight instead. Um, and, and keep on going straight. Don't turn left here. Uh, just keep on going straight, following the path. And just keep going straight. Ignore the two things on the right. The first one was a pit. The rest are dead ends. Just keep going straight for quite a while. Ignore the one on the right. That will lead you to a door, but... We're not interested in that door. All right, finally, this door, or this path here, you can see it goes on and then it turns. Uh, turn right here, taking on quite a few zombies, our first set of zombies, really. Like I said, this is a morgue, so uh, there are lots of undead floating around here. But uh, this is the first time that we've encountered them. They all have the same, uh, like, deformities I guess I could say uh, after I don't know maybe I'm spoiled by uh, the walking dead where each and every zombie uh, is unique and looks different now that they all look alike I don't know they are just reskins though of course in order to save memory space that was very popular at the time 80 experience points from that I'll take it and 108 Mercedes all right this is where things get a little tricky not because there are zombies. Not because there are zombies at all. Over 40 damage per person there. At least 40 from now. All right, so follow this until it turns the second time. So that was the first turn there. Really? They're doing a lot of damage at the end of the day. They are. Come on, Tylon, get your turn before other people. You know what? Now's a great time to get your turn, Tylon. Uh, or you could let all the zombies attack first. Or you could let that happen, Tylon. All right, 60 more experience points for that one. I will definitely take an 81 Mercedes. All right, so the second time it turns here, which is right here, you want to turn and you can see the door. When you see the door, do not step forward because there is a pit there. What do we do then? We use 
Meow's untrap magic. That was close. Meow detected and removed the trap. So now we can head across it and we can find a treasure chest. You're damn right I want to open it. And it contains a Laconian armor. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds really good. Laconian, after all, the best thing in the game. At least that's what people say. This is going to go on Tylon, as you might expect. So uh, let's take a look at his defense. It's at 136. Let's go ahead and equip the Laconian armor on him. What did I say it was? 136? 136. 186 so it's an increase of 50 over where it was before now i can turn around and leave we are done here uh the trap is still set uh but there is something that i want underneath anyway so let's actually uh turn right out of the path here and head down uh what would have been straight before to a set of stairs uh this is uh, right here is where you would have fallen if you fell down the pit. Uh, you can fall down the pit, climb back up, and then use Untrapped later. Uh, because, well, you want what's on the other side, don't you? Uh, from where you fall, uh, just head straight across from the door that let us down here. The stairs that let us down here. And we can find a Rorogenin. Not that it's that important that I got it, but I did indeed get it. And we can take on more zombies. So many zombies in the morgue here. And they really do love picking on Tylon, don't they? I just upgraded his armor once again to what I assume is the best in the game. After all, it is Laconian armor. I know it's the best in the game, but still, but still. He, they're still doing so much damage to him. Doesn't look like there's a marked increase, even though we increased it by not 50%, but more than 30%, definitely. And we got a level for Meow. That is always nice. 81 more Mercedes. All right, let's get out of here. So up the stairs, and then we will just go all the way around. Kind of a confusing place if you get lost, but if you follow the directions specifically, you'll be fine. Uh, for the time being, we just want to head actually straight the whole way. It's just straight. No turns unless they force you to turn along the path back as we take on even more zombies. These guys don't like playing nice. They have that long attack. That's the issue. We can, we can take them down quite easily. But they have to do the shimmy and the yawn in order to kill us each and every time. 64 experience is hard to say no to, though. I bet you thought because of all the leveling that I had done, I had been overleveled. You were wrong. Pretty much around here, it, it feels like Dragon Quest, if you remember that. There's either leveled or not leveled. There's nothing else. There's no overlevel, if that makes sense. And there's no, maybe I can work it out. No, you just need to get the level. That's the only way to do it. All right, once again, just continue heading forward. Avoid the trap there. Just head through the door. Is the man still here? He says the same thing. And we have escaped from the morgue. We made it out. And with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Fantasy Star. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by the Still Needs Defense squad of Elisa, Meow, Tylon, and Loot. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.